I joined the Army in 2009. I got orders to deploy to Iraq in 2010 in September. You know, the deployment, um, I guess because if I'm going to go into that, you know, PTSD was combat related. So, I mean, we were getting rockets thrown at us while we were asleep, you know. Get up, there's bombs being thrown, you have to get out your bed. <laughs> this was every week and stuff, so, yeah. And then on top of that, I had a friend that I was very close to. We did basic together, AIT together, we deployed together. She committed suicide. So, you know, that um, really had an impact on me. You just accept the fact that you may not come home. That's all. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I didn't really even know how to transition from a soldier to a civilian. After that, um, I started to um, face a lot of obstacles that I did not plan on facing. So I was facing all of this, um, needing um, to deal with my mental health, but also take care of not two, but three children that were all in diapers. Um, me and their father, my children's father, we were, um, I guess we weren't getting along so great. And um, at the time, I was going through things, you know, especially not dealing with stuff after my deployment. The journey began to start trying to make a better life with my girls after their father um, put me and my daughters out. I was faced with um, homelessness. I couldn't keep relationship. My jobs would last like two or three months at a time. I would catch myself get into, getting into some altercations with coworkers. Um, it was not easy for me to focus. That's when I knew then that, okay, the PTSD is affecting me. I then went to the uh, veteran service officer where I was living and we applied for my disability. My disability was denied. Oh, awesome, Ren. You're doing good. A smile can Aww. teach mama, but it's still a real family. High five. So that went on from 2014 up until um, 2018. Then we relocated from Florida to Texas. At that time, I was still fighting for my disability. I was able to go before a judge by myself. I had no attorney. By this time, I went through my records like I was an attorney so that I could highlight and underline and just prove that here, this is there for you guys. It's written out. Luckily, I was granted everything that I was fighting for to be able to now be a uh, permanent and total disabled veteran. And then now this could provide me and my daughters with, you know, to be able to live comfortably. I said, you know what, it's time to go out there and look for a home. Went to two different lenders. Um, both told me that I did not uh, qualify, but they told me that I would just need more income. Neither of them wanted to listen to the fact that I could afford to pay the debt that I had. If I could find one lender <laughs> that would listen to me and would just give me a chance, I would be really appreciative of that. And she came broken, a little bit disheartened, had been told no, had been told no, had been told no, but nobody told her why, why was it no? And so when she came to me, I, just like I do with anybody, I asked them, do you want some help? Do you want me to show you what to do to fix your credit? And she's like, that's all I want. And so we sat down, we went through the credit report and gave her the ABCs and she went to work on that. I do a lot of loans for prior military for single moms and, and most of the time it's just giving them the tools necessary to get to the end goal. I didn't understand like why can you help me you know one else could but she said girl I just I know my job and I was a veteran you know and she was used to doing VA loans and she said she didn't see any reason why I wouldn't qualify. In Cameron's situation of course with her being prior military um, she was eligible to utilize a VA loan. VA is a great tool it's actually a little bit easier to qualify for than your conventional loans. Um, credit score requirements are a little bit more lenient. Your debt to income is a little bit more lenient. So more people can qualify. Um, the best thing is no down payment. There's no mortgage insurance with a VA loan. Interest rates tend to be a whole lot better on a VA loan, especially if somebody doesn't have that golden 740 credit score. 
I found the home that I knew fit me and my girls. She kept calling me all the time. She's like, are you sure this is going to go through? And I was like, Cameron, everything is going to be fine. I was like, she's like, I know. I think she was just used to being told no so many times that to trust somebody else on the other end, it was, it was very difficult for her. So Fairway, I would say they changed my life. They granted me my dream. I had a dream of being a homeowner before the age of 30. I'm 29, and they did that for me. <laughs> yep, so all the hard work paid off. And I think that um, everything made sense. Everything that I went through made sense. Okay.